Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge. We get a lot of questions about how to calibrate the Razor Gauge, so I'm going to go through it step by step. When you unpack the Razor Gauge and get it mounted on your uh, machine, uh, the, what you'll want to do is back this stop, the actual stop extension, what we call the BSE, back it all the way up. And that's done by using a wrench to loosen these screws and then just slide this back. Usually it's already slid back when we ship the machine. So, once you've done that, you turn off the power on the razor gauge and actually pull the carriage against the internal hard stop so that it's as far as it can go towards the saw. Then move the, move the stop extension where it's as close as you want to get it to the blade. I usually set it so that it won't hit the saw guard during homing, so, but I get it pretty close. But you can put it wherever you want. So I've moved it to within about a quarter of an inch of the uh, saw guard. And then I'm going to tighten these screws. And that locks it in. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to turn the power back on, on the razor gauge, and restart the software. Okay, I'm going to press OK to home. Here you'll notice the little message that says you have 45 days or 58 startups to activate the software. Um, you can still press OK to home and run the machine. Just eventually you have to call in and get the code. So don't worry about having to do that immediately after you get the machine started up. You can still run it. Press OK and then the machine will home. So there we are. So now we've physically established where the stop is going to be when we're at home. Now we're going to calibrate the machine. To do that, press the setup button, enter the password, and that enables all these functions. So then press the calibrate button, and then follow the instructions. What these instructions say is to first enter a target position. All the target position is, is the length of a part that we're going to measure. And usually you want that to be a short part so you can measure it with calipers and get an accurate position. So I'm going to enter 5 for the target position and then I'm going to press move to target. So the razor gauge moved to what it thinks is 5 inches. So now we cut a part with the uh, razor gauge at that position. So we would put material against the stop. Make sure you get a piece of material with a good square end. So if you need to, so go ahead and square the end first, put it against the stop, and cut the part. Cycle the saw. Then measure the, that part and enter the measurement in here where it says part measurement. Let's say that we cut the part and it measured five and an eighth instead of five. So then I would put in 5.125 and next. Now the next step, step two, is for calculating the scale factor. Usually you don't have to do that. So just skip this step and save the home offset. And then it comes up with the home, home screen again and press OK. Machine homes. and we've set our offset. So that's how you calibrate a razor gauge, real simple. Thanks a lot.